In this week's video, we are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, with its gorgeous architecture, beautiful river walk, world-class art museum, and lively public market and food scene. Join us as we spend 36 hours in Brew City, best known to us 80s kids, as home to Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, and of course, the Fonz. Terry, what would you say to someone who has not yet subscribed to our channel? Subscribe to our channel. <laughs> We're Zeke and Terry, empty nest midlife travel adventurers from the San Francisco Bay Area. After nearly getting divorced and rebooting our relationship, we decided to focus on our shared passion for travel and adventure. We launched this channel to inspire other empty nesters to get out, get dirty, and live this crazy thing called life by exploring places both near and far. Subscribe to our channel for more Zeke and Terry adventures. It's Saturday morning and we are in Milwaukee. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. First we, time ever. Yeah, we had a pretty easy drive last night. So first on the agenda today is to get you. And you. A good cup of coffee. The pods didn't quite do it this morning in no, the hotel room. No, we're staying at the St. Kate, uh, the Arts Hotel which is a beautiful hotel, the room is nice, and I think it's a 20, 25 minute walk to our first destination, which is the Milwaukee Art Museum. Which had an installation in the lobby of our hotel. Yeah, that's- So they're spreading the art around. One of the things that's really cool is in the room, there's a bunch of art and there's actually a booklet that describes the art, everything from a tile that's in the shower to the art that's on the walls. Okay. We need good cappuccinos. Let's go. two-hour museums. Well, this is probably a four-hour museum if you actually stopped and looked at everything. There's a lot in there, uh, but we were able to get through in about two hours and I saw plenty for me. Uh, this has got a really nice modern and contemporary section. It's got a good European selection. Um, I was walking around. I'm like, you know what, Zeke, what haven't we seen? And he looked at me blankly and I said, we haven't seen an Alexander Calder. And then not a minute later, we walked into a room and there was one and if we'd only looked up when we walked in the door there's a there's one above and we didn't see a deborah butterfield horse but since there's one in the lobby of the uh, saint kate hotel i think we've checked that box on there so yeah. um it was really fun i saw james tussaud that i think was part of a tussaud special exhibit at the Young museum in san francisco and it was a piece that I absolutely loved. So it was fun seeing that in their collection. So that must've been on loan as part of the traveling um, exhibit. If you go to enough museums, you start to see the same artists over and over again. And I'm wondering if we're going to kind of get to the end. I don't think we're ever going to get to the end because we keep getting introduced to new artists and uh, I'm appreciating art in a very different way as I become familiar with them. And as always, I'm looking for women artists um, and non cishet white men artists. I, could, I couldn't bait you into saying, yeah, we might get tired of museums because we see the same artists over <laughs> and over again. Oh well. No, because they're <laughs> different pieces of art and there's, there's, it's nice to see familiar ones because then it gives kind of a, an anchor mm -hmm. as you're exploring new ones and venturing outside of your comfort okay. zone. All right. But it's a little warm and sticky right now and I think we're looking for some lunch. God, it is lunchtime. It is lunchtime. So we're gonna try to find the public market and go to the seafood restaurant and oddly enough, have a lobster roll in Milwaukee. <laughs> you 
happier now that your belly is full? That was some good food. So Carolyn at the St. Paul's Fish Market was absolutely fantastic and suggested that we get a kid's version of the fish fry. And yep. uh, we got the cod and it was amazing. So while I wasn't thrilled with the walleye fry, yeah. that was really good. The salmon salad though was the best. Oh, I don't know. Really uh, the lobster roll, meh. I don't think I really like lobster. So the public market has a lot of places to buy cheese and meats and sweets and food. And there was a Mexican coffee, place. wine. Coffee, wine. It's actually pretty compact, unlike the Granville Market in Vancouver, which was so overwhelming. Everybody's just been super, super friendly. So Midwest nice. I get Midwest nice. Off to the river walk, back to the hotel. So we're walking along the river walk. It looks like you can rent pontoon party boats. And kayaks. I don't know if some of these people should be driving these, <laughs> piloting these. Boats. I think they, they top out at about eight miles an hour. So while I was on a United flight, I started watching Top Chef Milwaukee and heard about uh, this restaurateur or chef who was on the show, his name was Dan, and he has Kennedy disease. When I learned that he had two restaurants in Milwaukee, we were looking for a place to go while we were here, um, I looked them both up. Now one of them I couldn't get reservations into, but one I could is Dan Dan right behind us, which is an Asian restaurant. And it was pretty darn good. We are also enjoying the parade of uh, boats and things here on the water in this beautiful evening. Uh, and gorgeous then, sunset over there with gorgeous sky. Yep. This looks really cool. And we're going to go to a light installation of the Botanic Gardens. Mm -hmm. Which is about 25 minutes away from here. So the Botanical Gardens with the China light. The Year of the it's, Dragon. It's a great thing to go if you've got little kids or if you've got grandkids or Someone small who's going to be fascinated by... Fantasia-like, Alice in Wonder-like... Mild animatronics. Um, I mean, but there were so many people. They good. should have probably sold fewer tickets than they did. So that was very crowded, but it felt like a very Midwestern experience. So we'll check that one off the list. Strawberry? Strawberry. It's a strawberry shake made with frozen custard. They don't have ice cream here. It's frozen custard. Frozen custard. Strawberry shake. That's good. It's good. Okay. And then this is a chocolate soda. I haven't had a chocolate soda. I used to get them at Lord's at the Castle okay. Village. Okay. Okay. So it has but he vanilla said it, ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Chocolate syrup and then soda water. Just soda water. like a root beer float but not with root beer. Ah, okay. But it has chocolate so it's not really a root beer float at all. Can you taste the difference? I haven't gotten to the ice cream but this <laughs> is really good. Well here, let me taste this real quick. Yeah, it tastes like a it's soda water. It's soda, like water soda water. With chocolate. I can't get the, it's got to melt a little bit more for me to get anything You better know how to suck. <laughs> well, I suck, but I don't know how to it get it out of the straw. The oh, got it. Okay. All so right. it is like a madhouse. Some, Some sort of uh, Mexican thing is going on with it. And, and they like their loud cars here too. So not there, just in California. There are people hanging out in the back of their um, their cars. It, it's a drive-through, but it's a drive-in, but not really a drive-in. It's quite the scene. We've got the flags. Mexican-American flags or Mexico flags. Mexico flags. 
I'll look that up. All right. Yeah, they're all over the place. Yeah, it's big time. Okay, we learned two things today. So Mexican Independence Day is sometime this weekend, and apparently it's a tradition to drive around with Mexican flags all over Milwaukee. Now, I don't know if it's other parts of the country, it's definitely not in our neighborhood, where there are a lot of people from Mexico. So this was kind of new and surprising, but they seem to be very festive. And then the second thing is that frozen custard is just Wisconsin's version of ice cream. Plus the egg. Well, yeah, that's the difference is it has an egg in I, it. I can't quite taste any differences. Though. No, maybe it's a little creamier. I don't know. Anyway, we learned those two things today. We have really liked Milwaukee. We will be back because we drove by the Mitchell Domes. So we didn't get to go there. We didn't get to walk around the botanical gardens during the day. It's a 40 acre property in Wisconsin. We thank you. Yeah. You're, everybody's been super nice and we had fantastic weather. We know it's not always like this. Less than two hours from Chicago, and it was a ton of fun. Yeah, it was. And now we need to try to get some sleep. Yeah. Because in the morning, uh, we will be driving the two hours back to Chicago. Yep. Going to watch the A's play the White, White Sox. Sox. Hopefully the A's win. And then have uh, dinner and spend some time with our friends, Marty and Pam. Don't you want to say something about subscribing for the channel? <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone gets egg in their custard. <laughs> I can't do it. You're, Not you're everyone gets egg in their just, custard? Just, you're the comedic relief, not <laughs> Right. <me>. Be funny. <laughs> Go on, silly boy. <laughs> say something funny.